hakuna kitu mtu atakwambia online kushtue but i'm telling you it's intense mm. and it really it gets to you Le, me i won't lie it gets to me i won't tell you oh i don't care no, it oh, really gets well, to like me <laughs> did you listen to the hot breakfast this morning here's what you missed she had pains right then she didn't realize and um, she was literally told get out of parliament Go out in, uh, nature, as you say in Kikuyu. Yeah, out in nature. nature. Go get on. out. Get out of here, man. And go and, um, you know. Sort it out. Yeah, and she said, oh, listen, I'm not the only one. This happens to women every single day. And now she's become the champion of sanitary pads. Senator, good to see you as always. Good morning. Good morning. How are yeah. you? I'm on my period. Oh, is it true? <laughs> is that a stunt? <laughs> That's how I am. Is, oh, oh, come on. That was a stunt. <laughs> no, it was not. It it happened and then I uh, thought about go back to the car what then I realized I'm always telling people stop period shaming and this and that so I was like ah there's a word like period yeah. shaming <laughs> there is a word like period shaming it's just that men don't know because they are normally the ones who do it so there is a word like period shaming like you're supposed to hide somewhere you're not supposed to be seen if you stain your clothes you're supposed to immediately cover yourself and go somewhere and that's actually period shaming okay but but but, but why should someone you know Uh, you said you said you leave and go to the car what was in the car no i was getting out of my car and then uh, there's a lady who was at the gate who came running and she was like oh please go back into the car you know you because she noticed that mm. i have stain mm. and when i turned i was like ah crap you know and then i thought okay i better my first actually my first thought was i need to go back home and then i had to check myself like aren't you the one who's always advocating that this shouldn't happen to people girls shouldn't miss school because of a stain and things. so i was like okay walk the talk So what, so what were you thinking was when you're walking in didn't you think I'm um, you know this I mean like how long were you going to stay like that if you're you're, you're not sorted No you're I mean you go you wear in, you in white No yeah you uh. go you wear a pad doesn't mean the stain will go away No Yeah I mean the stain is there so <laughs> okay. you but the thing is um I actually didn't think it was going to be a big deal to be honest mm. and so far when we were in the house we were about to get into the business and everything until um i was talking there's a fellow colleague of mine who was sitting next to me she's like you know you're shaming us and this is wrong what you're doing is not right you should go home and change and we started arguing and i was like you know if you have a problem with this you can also raise it i didn't think she would raise it she did <laughs> and she was like actually i'm going to raise it because you know the speaker needs to check this and blah blah blah, blah. Mm. so then she raised it And of course she was being supported you know by the likes of Halwale like yeah I'm a kosea you need nyumba heshima we shouldn't have this blah 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 so she raised it and that's where the debate started but otherwise it was going well because the I, I, I think I guess people were just like ah oh, we will just leave her but so far when I would like I'd be like I oh, know I know I know abstained but I'm okay I've sorted this out so in the corridors like to send it wasn't it wasn't so bad Mm. So it was just the issue of now wanting to get me out of the house. Right. Yeah, that now became a conversation which when I think about it I'm like thank God because the comments I'm reading online people don't know much about periods. Yeah, and, and, and we are men so yeah. 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 <laughs> you shouldn't Tell know. Me, I, I, if I start knowing a bit too much you'll be like hey Nicholas, like for, no instance, no mama. <laughs> for instance uh. there is an argument guys are like how can you be a leader and you don't even know when you're having your period you should be able to be responsible enough to know D- that's such an it's like a misguided statement because not everybody has regular periods and this was coming from men or women or both genders both That was the shocking thing about it because it was coming from both genders. You know I would expect it from because you know what at what point would a man know that yeah, well but you know you can excuse a man but it was coming from both genders. Okay I'm not an expert on this but I know that women will have like, like some sort of cramp the body will give you a sign that this yeah. is coming like, in the next couple yes, of days. Yes absolutely. Morning. There are women who are uh, their like their hormones and their body will just like give them a signal. Like you'd get cramps or you'd be sensitive in certain places and and then you'd be like oh in the next two or three days so you sort of even start wearing a pad before in anticipation yeah, yeah in anticipation and then there are women who just because of the irregular periods or like for instance myself feel like if i'm too anxious or if i and i was even thinking about it i was like on that day i was worried about it's the first day to we were opening and then there were rumors that um uh, committees are being changed and based on i don't know what i had a lot of things in my mind so and this you can ask any woman that sometimes when there's so much going on even if it's not within your cycle you just get your period there's even a story of a uh, uh, a girl who killed herself because she stained her dress and then the teacher made like a comment and and the whole situation of her feeling so ashamed mm-hmm just drove her into taking her own life and you know 
that's like the extreme that it can get but there are people who because they don't want to be in that situation girls they just don't go to school it's like you're like oh i'm on my period they just i'm sick i'm not going to school yeah. so that whole stigma and the shaming of you're on your period should just that's the first thing i i really want to like advocate against but then i have a um, i actually put a notice of, of motion mm. yesterday at the floor of the house because people are like ah just i want to and you're a legislator why don't you legislate the the reason i actually chose not to go back is because uh a, months ago actually when we were in session i had already put out uh i'd already um started working with the um, the team in senate the legal team to draft a bill on free sanitary towels like a whole standing act on provision of free sanitary towels currently we have an amendment within the education act that just adds like a paragraph that says um, the ministry will provide for sanitary towels it doesn't give the frequency it doesn't give the the, the framework around it it doesn't so like for instance if i provide uh, in january it's okay. I don't need to provide again. I've done it. Like I fulfilled, right. the, the, uh, based on, on that. And you see, sometimes they give like five pads when they come to provide, and it's not in all schools because of budget constraints. So I'm trying to legislate around that, and that was already in the last um, last session. So when this incident happened, my mind just went very quickly. Like, and I already have a bit. You know, perhaps you know, walk the talk, blah blah blah, and then it became a whole campaign thing. But I would. For me, I'm pushing that um, we get to a place where, because we can provide uh, free condoms, yeah, and sex is really a choice, but we don't choose to have periods. So I, I want to get to a point, or at least push and advocate and legislate, where in primary schools, the same way you, like in public uh, toilets or commercial places, you can get tissue, at one point in the primary schools that that sanitary towels are available and government provides. You think that's realistic though, Senator? I mean, in this... If you look at the... In, like, for instance, a pack of condoms that is provided for, right, by government, how much is one pack? Like, about 380, maybe. The feelings. Yeah, the, we are, we are going... Uh, the free ones. Uh, yeah, we are going... Uh, we, are, we are going at the very <laughs> lowest. At the very lowest. And those are three, yeah? Mm. And a pack of, of, of uh, pads is now at the lowest 45 at the very lowest 45 There's shillings 45 shillings that has about seven so now government is able to <laughs> provide condoms at that price and all we're asking for is for these 45 shillings a pack right mm -hmm. to give to to school girls so if you look at even the dynamics around the economy uh, the the um, budget of 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 uh, condoms and i'm not trying to say that we stop providing condoms i'm just saying if we go to a place that as a community we could be able to provide free condoms and that's a choice like we can do more advocacy on don't have sex until you're safe or whatever but we've chosen to provide condoms which is fine then we should also get to a place where we don't have our girls actually trade you know we have we have um from the really poor societies we, we have our girls trading they're actually <laughs> now participating in commercial sex so that they can get that 50 shillings to buy their sanitary towels mm -hmm. so whatever you're trying to cure around condoms is is actually like five steps behind when you look at the issue on period poverty because it's the same it's the same players it's the same victims around the 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 issues that we are trying to solve first we need to just fight with the poverty are you is, is there anything in in Senate being discussed in alleviating the suffering because you know someone can trade their body just for the period then now they're also hungry the mom is hungry so they have to do that again if you go to Lolongo where those people are actually creating employment for the locals yeah when they import the product the material that they need to make the <laughs> pads they are taxed so heavily that they can't compete with someone who goes to China and bring their comp uh, the final product, which is the pads. I spoke to them and they said, when they got the government tender a while back for provision, you know, because these sanitary tiles have to be, uh, they have to come from somewhere. So they got part of the tender. And they said, you know, anytime we have that uh, tender coming in for going to schools to distribute pads and whatever, they employ up to 2,000 casual laborers. So just even within this system of pads, mm. that company... If there is a drive on giving free um, pads to schools, that company is actually dealing with the issue of employing people and ending poverty. But the issue is we can't, we need to talk about uh, certain policies around even that sanitary towel because like the products coming in, if you're going to tax them, you're killing the local industries. That's why there are a lot of people actually are just going to China and bringing in pads. So 
most of these issues are interconnected. Because, for instance, in Lolongo, those 2,000 people now who are casual laborers who don't have work now because maybe that company has not got an tender, which we can legislate by saying if you're going to participate in these tenders for free uh, provision of sanitary towels to schools, you have to be a local manufacturer, for instance, because then we'll be killing two birds. We'll be ensuring that we're dealing with the issue of poverty by employing. Uh, people and those same people who you're employing, the money, by the way, that they are getting, it's a it's a whole cycle. They're still going to use it to buy pads for their kids. So, um, what I'm trying to do with that uh, bill that I'm proposing is a whole end-to-end -end solution of we are dealing with the issue of young girls actually going to uh, participate in commercial sex. We are dealing with the issue of period stigma. We are dealing with the issue of uh, the economic uh, effect of actual local manufacturers. Uh, being the ones who are providing these free sanitary towels. And then we are also dealing with the issue of advocacy. Like today with my T-shirt, you guys are no longer shocked for anyone to tell you, oh, but they are on my period. Mm. That's also a whole issue. So that's what I'm trying to do. Is there anything in the Senate that's being discussed to make uh, business easier? Because start a business, you have like you need like 10 licenses. There's so much that stops you from proceeding. While someone can just, in fact, this is a website. You order things, I think a pack of even diapers is like $0.5 from China. Mm. And someone here who wants to create employment and pay taxes can't comp compete with they them. Can't compete with that uh. pricing. There's okay. What I can, what I'm sure of is that uh, our cabinet secretary Moses Kuria is actually dealing with a lot of that uh, stuff in terms of the policies around how to ensure that our markets locally are thriving. And so this is also one of the things that I want to push because if, for instance, the same thing with the pads. If the pads you've removed the the import duty, and this material that's coming in is going to make pads, why are you putting? Uh, taxes on that. Mm. Yeah, it's just because I think we haven't had leadership in a while that has thought through end to end on sa some of these uh, policies and regulations. Do we have the, the kind of leaders we that have the it now. now? We have it now. And I'm sitting here also, I'm one of them. One of the many, you know, because uh, <laughs> not you. you know, I haven't met you uh, twice this year. The, 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 the I'm last also one, yet, one of the leaders because, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, how many senators do you know in the world who would have an accident like that and think, walk the talk? as a senator. You know the kind of backlash that I've gotten, like I'm having legislators in the same house literally like abusing me and, and the backlash from, I'm actually glad yesterday Sakaja spoke on it and he supported, he was like, you know, this is good yeah. and he's going to work on it because the idea is also to just have people understand periods are normal. But how many legislators do you know would have actually said, ah, I've stained, let me just go to chambers and then, you know, none. And then that's the that's the whole idea. It's like if you can't even talk about it, you can't even be seen to be doing something to change it. Then why would you sit in a boardroom and change the policy? By the way, what's some of the reactions been like? Uh, the backlash. Tell us. Kai, I want to leave Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <try>. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe I am telling you this thing of a thick skin. What? What? Uh, uh, no, we are human beings, and some of those things that you go. In fact, really, I am really contemplating on leaving Twitter. That whole cyberbullying thing, I've been educated also through the comments because I've realized uh, people don't know much about periods. Yesterday we had conversations with some of the women legislators who are like, wow, let's do this, let's now try and have sensitization. I'm trying to figure out, remember this is something that happened and then now I'm sort of like, okay, let's, yeah. let's make lemonade out of a situation. So I'm trying to figure out how we can actually go down to Mashinani and, and ensure that we have that uh, sensitization, especially on the period shaming and stigma. And then, you know, if this bill actually passes into law, that is a bigger solution because then we will legislate and it will be like a certain percentage of a certain budget, either within the ministry or the exchequer, will be dedicated to uh, provision of free sanitary towels and that will go that's nationally and that's actually what I was talking about the current provision now it's not all the schools that get those uh, they, get, they get the pads so yeah maybe Jeff you can come and we can uh, we can go distribute uh, pads I don't know his car has enough space Jeff, <laughs> I, <second her. laughs> I would love to I mean this is a great great call